Jordan Belfort, he has a, something called the straight line persuasion system where he gives people the, uh, the whole path from open to close of how to close someone in a sales process. Okay, And that's what I've done here with my seduction and pickup system. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Gonna rock the wide angle view here for this video. I wanted to make a video about the sales process and its parallels to game in my system specifically. Okay, my system pretty much matches a traditional sales funnel. Okay, and I'm gonna go through why it works so well and why I believe I have the best system in the world. And we're gonna go through all the parallels that come with uh, the sales process. Okay, but before we continue, if you're not a subscriber, this channel is no bullshit, straightforward, practical advice in a community where we have 95% of the people scamming and ripping off and giving you abstract woo -woo theory that's not going to help you give, uh, be able to get the girls since there's no practical strategy. That is what I provide. Okay, so if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell for alerts of new videos every single day. So, um, where does this all originate? There's lead acquisition at the top. Then we have lead management, and then we have lead closing, okay? So the whole point is that you want to acquire a bunch of leads at the top. That comes in the form of online game, night game, and day game. That's going to lead to a bunch of phone numbers. Then you want to hone in your texting. How are you texting these girls? That's going to be the, the management part. That's taking a lead uh, that you acquired and getting it set up for a date. And the date is going to give you the opportunity to close. And by the way, if you want to know the whole system from A to Z, uh, we just had a couple people graduate recently from the mentorship. We do have a couple open spots. Do not delay because spots are limited. I keep the program small size. Jump on a free 30-minute call. You will speak to me personally or someone from my team. Okay, the demand has been growing. So we're going to have uh, some people taking these calls as well. And we will show you how we can take you from wherever you're at to a very advanced level very quickly with a customized game plan. Okay, so remember... The online game leads, the night game leads, the day game leads. That filters down to phone numbers. Then I show you exactly what to text. I give you all the texts for every control path in order to set up those public dates, typically for coffee or a drink, or a date straight to the house. Okay, And I'm going to show you exactly how to run your date, exactly how to close your date, and exactly how to keep her around after you close. Okay, And as you go through... Okay, you're going to run into different problems, right? So you're going to run into different objections. So in the sales world, when you try to sell someone on something, they're going to give you different objections why they can't buy. But that's a good thing. That usually means they're interested. Okay, so when you are trying to pull from night game or day game, I've identified 14 major objections that come up and the optimized responses to each one, kind of how they train the sales team in Wolf of Wall Street, which is my favorite movie. They say, when they say this, you're going to say this. When they say this, you're going to say this. Okay. So when you have those pre-memorized and then you, and then you try to take your girl home from the club and she's like, objection A, objection B. You're like, oh, I know the answers to those. Most guys will get stopped up in their tracks. First of all, because a lot of guys have trouble even approaching in the first place. Once they approach, they have conversations leading to nowhere and the girl excuses herself. Once they get past that part and they're actually trying to move it forward, that's when they're going to run into objections about why she can't go with them. And that's lots of times where the guy gets stuck as well because he thinks these are like real problems that he can't beat and then she's just not interested. But that's not the case. Objections are going to happen at every step of the process almost every time. Okay, that's just total normal, totally normal and that's how the process goes. So you would answer those objections. That's going to lead either to taking her home or getting her phone number. Then over text, there's a whole host of objections for meeting up. There's comfort objections. There's safety objections. There's logistics objections. There's hookup objections, okay, et cetera, et cetera. There's going to be objections in the form of just not replying. Or if she doesn't reply to, your, to one of your texts or to, twice in a row, she doesn't reply or three times in a row. And I show you exactly what to do in all those situations, okay? Then on the date, when you try to bring her home, she's going to give you objections, hookup objections. Oh, I'm not that kind of girl. I don't go home with guys on the first date. Uh, safety objections. Oh, I don't know if I can go with a stranger. What if you're a murderer? What if you're a serial killer? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. When you get back to the house, oh, I don't usually hook up with guys in the first date or, oh, I don't know you that well, this and that. There's objections even to hooking up in the first place. Then there's objections after you hook up to seeing you again. Oh, well, I don't know if I felt the chemistry or I'm kind of seeing this other guy or blah, 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 blah. Okay. So being able to have uh, response and optimized response the whole way through the process 
is going to allow you to deal with any kind of negative reactions. Okay, so for those of you that have seen the movie The Wolf of Wall Street, it's it's a bit older now. I think it was like 2013 or something like this, 2014. But basically, um, Jordan Belfort, he has a, something called the straight line persuasion system where he gives people the, uh, the whole path from open to close of how to close someone in a sales process. Okay, and that's what I've done here with my seduction and pickup system. I show you from the moment of walking up to say hello to a stranger, everything that happens structurally all the way to the close. So you're following this straight line path, you assume attraction, you assume success, you assume the girl will like you. And then you're determining her logistical situation early on so you know what you're dealing with and you're dealing with any points of non-compliance, okay? So I'll do it, I'll do it coming like this so it, it makes sense, the mirrored image. So you start at the beginning, you're moving it forward, you hit an objection or point of non-compliance, it veers off the straight line. I show you how to optimally bring it back to the straight line and then move it forward in the process again. You hit another objection or point of non-compliance, it goes off that line, I show you how to bring it back and move it on the straight line again. Okay, so the, the function, the, the length of any particular interaction is a algorithmic function based on how many points of non-compliance and objections there are, okay? So I show you how to navigate all these successfully and I also show you how to make a real-time probabilistic assessment of the odds of being able to take her home, which is a, a combination of how on things seem to be, which is just a general assessment of her, her general compliance levels, and also uh, her logistical situation. Does it seem like a hard logistical problem that you can't beat, or does it have a low probability of being beaten? Okay, and when you follow these processes, which are very, very, very similar to sales, you're going to start churning out a lot of results. Most guys that come through the mentorship program are getting one to two new closes per week and putting about one new rotation girl on per week, okay? So if you have interest in learning that whole process and, and doing something that's very, very repeatable, okay, on a weekly basis for the rest of your life, for decades and decades and decades, to allow you to sleep with 50 to 100 new girls a year, or to build a four to six girl rotation within one to two months, even starting from scratch or even being in a new city, okay, jump on a free 30 minute call with me. I'll get you very good very fast. You'll have more dates than you know what to do with. Most guys are getting five to 10 new dates a week, starting by week two. Even a virgin that recently came through had seven dates on week two, which was more than I had that week because I'm repeating a lot of the same girls, okay? So do not delay. There's just a couple spots left there. Free 30 minute call. Also, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of videos recorded in the studio downstairs again and get the editor back on these things and get them queued up and we're gonna rock through at Value Town, okay? Thank you so much for the 20K subscribers. Please share, like, comment, subscribe, etc. And we're going to really fucking do a lot of cool shit this year. Okay, daily videos will continue all the way through the rest of the year. And I'm really looking forward to a lot of cool things. Put in the comments uh, video topics you'd like me to record. And if I deem it as being uh, valuable and favorable, I will add that to the queue. Okay, so leave in the comments what you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt, son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum